tragedy strikes social media and popular video sharing app TikTok is feeling the heat. On top of allegations that the company leaked American user data to China, TikTok now faces a lawsuit of the death of two children. NTD's Phil Zhou has the latest. The blackout challenge has been gaining popularity on TikTok recently. Users are encouraged to choke themselves until they pass out all while filming the stunt in hopes to get some views and likes. And we as parents wonder, where did you get that from? Why are you doing that? Two young girls, ages 8 and 9, died last year after attempting the blackout challenge. Now the parents are suing the social media company, saying the TikTok algorithm pushes harmful content to children, leading to death. Omar Ochoa is a top trial attorney who's represented some of the biggest firms across the globe. I think there is a wave in this country to try to hold accountability for social media companies, both for confidentiality, privacy protections, uh, and to make sure that they're generating content that's not harmful. The lawsuit claims TikTok knew its videos are addictive, but failed to warn children and parents about them. Dr. Christopher Cortman has been a psychologist for over 36 years. He even has his own TikTok channel promoting mental health and tips on parenting. You know, when you're talking about ages 8 and 9, it is up to me as the dad, it's up to the mom to make sure that I know what's going into my child's brains, into their eyes, into their ears. Both girls who died received their first smartphones at the ages of only 7 and 8. Dr. Cortman says that's a bad idea. You know, we, we need to to not just hand them over their phones or their electronic gadgets. It doesn't take much to influence a child. It doesn't take much to traumatize a child. It doesn't take much to steer a child in a uh, pathologic direction. He says regardless if social media takes responsibility, parents have to be more aware and hands-on with their kids. Do you know what you can do? You know, I heard about this choking thing. Have you heard about this thing? Because you can kill yourself that way. And you could do brain damage to yourself. I mean, we have to give them better information. Unfortunately, sometimes that's not enough. One of the moms warned her nine-year-old daughter specifically not to ever try the blackout challenge. According to the lawsuit, the girl understood. But only one month later, the girl continued watching the videos and died from trying the challenge. TikTok, the most popular website last year, beating out even Google, says the blackout challenge was already a trend even before the platform took off, referencing a choking game that was popular in the 90s and 2000s. Phil Zhou, NTD News.